Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how you can use WebAlert Android app to track websites and get notifications when a date from their content changes to something that you are looking for. As an example, in this tutorial I will set up an alert which will notify me whenever this blog that I'm reading will publish a new entry. The alert will be based on the date of the last blog entry. So if I detect a blog entry which was published after let's say 1st of June, then I should see my alert triggering. Currently the latest post was published on June 10th, so my alert should be triggered immediately. First of all, you can download web alert from Google Play. In the description of this video you can find the link to the download page. This is the home screen of the app. As you can see, I already added some alerts which I use. You can add as many alerts as you want. To create a new alert, you have to press the new button. This is the edit alert screen. It contains a lot of options which you can use, but you don't have to use them all. Each field has a label containing a short description of its functionality. If you click on any label, you will get some helpful information about that field. For example, if I press here, I will get more information about this selector field. The first thing that we have to do is to enter an alert name. Let's call it new blog entry. Next we have to enter the address of the web page that we want to track. In our case is the web page of the blog that I'm reading. Next we must choose what part of the web page we want to track. We can select only a small section of the web page with this selector field. This works exactly like a jQuery selector. You can use HTML tags, classes, IDs, attributes to select only a small section of the web page. In the web alert documentation web page, you can find the full syntax of this selector field. In the description of this video, you can find the link to this web page. You can also access the web alert documentation web page directly from the application if you click on the selector label and then go to selector documentation. But let's see this in action. Let's go back to the blog website. My goal now is to see how they are building the dates for each blog entry. Right now I'm in Google Chrome, so if I right click on the date and then inspect element, I can see that the date is somewhere inside the list which has the class blog info. So I'm assuming that this is enough for me. Let's go back to the app and put as a selector class blog info just as in jQuery. Next, I must tell the app to interpret the selection as a date. With the date format field, you specify to the app how the date appears on the website. The default date format is year, followed by month, followed by day of month. You can find the full syntax of this date format field in the web alert documentation web page at the section web alert date and time patterns. You can find the link to this documentation web page in the description of this video. You can also access this documentation web page directly from the app if you click on the date format label and then go to date format documentation. The next field, date language, specify in what language the words which are part of the date are written. In our case, if we put three M's, then this means that we want to have the month as a word. So being in English, we expect to see here January, February, March and so on. So we will leave it in English because the date on the website that I'm tracking is written in English. In the element operation field, I want to specify that I want the date to be after. In the operation value, I specify my threshold for the date, so let's make it 1st of June. You must be careful to specify the date in the exact format as specified in date format. You can check if your alert is currently matching some values from the website if you press on check current value button. It tells you that it found 10 elements with class blog info and then it lists you all these elements. As you can see, no element is written in the date format that we specify to the app. We want the alert to be triggered if there is a blog entry after 1st of June. The latest blog entry was on June 10th, so we must get a match for the first element. 
The problem is that the selected elements are not written in the date format that we specified. So we need to use the search and replace feature to extract the date from each element. We access this feature if we go to the options and then advanced view. We get now two fields for search and replace. So let's build a regular expression which will extract from our elements only the date and in the format that we want. First, we must have a group of characters for matching the month, followed by a space, followed by another group of characters matching the day of the month. The day of the month has a two letter suffix, followed by comma and a space, then a group for the year, then any group of characters. In our case, is that no comments string. In the replace field, we must build the date in the date format that we specified the app. So first we must have the year, so it's the third group, followed by a space, then followed by the month, which is the first group, followed by the date of the month, which is the second group. If you are familiar with regular expressions, then this should be clear to you. If not, you can find the YouTube tutorial in the description of this video, which should be a great starting point for you to learn more about regular expressions. So let's see now if we set up this search and replace feature properly. As you can see, there is a match on the first element found because it is after 1st of June. The only thing that I want to change is the frequency with which the app checks the website. So let's make it one minute. In this way, I can show you how the notifications looks like. Let's save the alert. The alert is listed in the main screen of the app. I will pause the video for one minute to show you how the notifications looks like. This is the notification that you will get. If you go to the notification bar, you will get some information that the alert new blog entry found a match. And if you click on it, it will open directly the website. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see how you can set up an alert based on some text from a web page, click on the text alert tutorial. If you want to see how you can set up an alert for the price of a product, click on the number alert tutorial.